all right so it is now sunday january 7 and i didn't go to church yet or i don't plan on going to church because i am still not confident enough in navigating uh to the place it's far if i do try to go to a church but um and the transportation here is like philippines where they use jeepneys but they call them combis here um so my plan today is to make a lesson to finish off my lesson planning because we start teaching tomorrow um and just cleaning a little bit and i'm gonna go out later just to get some stuff walk around explore a bit like the places that i know already so i can navigate way home um and let me just show you my what i'm doing my room what i've done so far so i'm just gonna clean up a little bit because it gets a little dusty here and oh this one this is my wall of everybody i am still trying to get organized i plan on making a calendar post it over here so i can be organized with my lesson planning it's a lot of stuff but i'm not i'm not too scared because it's children and all you really got to do is have fun and play around with it right mm. but yeah oh what thing it gets really cold here like morning and evening and like the walls are all like cement so there's no form of insulation so it gets freaking cold and like it's like canada but like no heat so i had to buy another sweater i did buy two sweaters and <laughs> it's funny how they say um canadians love the cold no we don't we just know how to get warm so yeah Um, I had 9 to 10 with kids workshops but none of my kids showed up so I was fine I didn't have to do much and then and then I start teaching again at 4 to 6 and 6 to 8 and those two hour blocks were so exhausting and like I didn't even have that many students I had three in the first block and two in the second block but like Oh my gosh, to teach kids, you need so much energy. And like these two boys in my first two hour block, they were just not cooperating and they were just so rowdy. <laughs> like they, paid, they, let, they listened for a little while and then they went off and did their own stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how do I, how do I handle this? Well, it's only the first day, but the second, our, the second two hour block was really great because these two boys were just absolute angels and oh, they were listening, they were attentive, they were responding really well, having conversations with me and I just, oh, I love them, that's my favorite, those two, my, those two are my favorites. Um, I don't know how it's going to be tomorrow, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have more kids because apparently it's a Mexican culture that they are always late even when registering for school. So this this entire week is just going to be like people coming in and I, I still don't have a feel for how many people will be in my class. But um, hopefully it's no more than six because oh my gosh, just class those two boys, like kids was just too much already. Oh, I can do this. It's fun, like I'm having fun, like I love kids. I just don't like teaching them. <laughs> it's a challenge, right? Um, teaching's a lot of planning and like making stuff, especially for kids, you need to make the arts and crafts. Like it's now 10 o'clock and I just want to sleep. Um, and four more days to go. <laughs> I, but I know it's gonna get better. It's just really tough right now. Anyways. Yeah. So second day of teaching. 
day two, day two, much better, way better than the first round. Um, because the children were, well, today I actually taught taught because first day I just did intro stuff. We made a book about me, like about each other. And today I actually taught some stuff and I feel like the kids really learned stuff. So I'm really happy about that. And I did that for, t I did that for two rounds both two hours each and I really enjoyed it because the kids were listening they get rowdy at times and like they're so excited or like they're so energetic oh my gosh that's why I'm so exhausted right now but um oh my gosh these children are adorable I love them like of course you're gonna have your favorites right life of a teacher is very exhausting today I also just did my lesson planning but I did take some breaks you know I, I made some calls and just rested for as much as I can. Bought some beer because <laughs> you know there are days when you'll need right it. Now, I'm on my way to get some coffee. I just finished one hour of one hour of teaching. So I had the little girl named Rosa. She's adorable, and her brother Daniel. And we just played some games, learned some shapes, learned some numbers. Um, I'm on my break now from 10 to 4 and I'm just gonna go grab some coffee there's a really nice Italian coffee shop here can you imagine <laughs> we're in Mexico and there's an Italian coffee shop but um so I'm around the area for my school and I'll break well I was on my break since 10 when I did some work at school lesson planning now I'm heading home to do more lesson planning but also just to relax sometimes um, yeah that's my plan right now I'm probably gonna go to the pharmacy and get some food there I can use the visa so it's not too bad um, yeah I'm just gonna get some food make some lunch and do more lesson planning. Finish off my lesson planning for next week. That's the plan. Um, so yeah, it's a 15 minute walk. 15 minute walk to from home to school. And I take that every day, so yeah. So today I went to the pharmacy. I already showed you some of the stuff, but um, I also bought a bunch of like snacks. So I'm gonna show you what I got. We got these uh, Mexican chips. I already tried them. They're good. They're really good. Um, of course, Pringles. Um, what else? We got some Ritz crackers because I'm gonna need it. Um, this, this thing. I don't know what this is, but it's a uh, Mexican chocolate, so I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Whoops. Here. You see, where's the front? I guess this is the front. Don't know what that is. And this is the thing I'm most scared of. I have no idea what this is. You see it? It's like some mango candy. I have no idea if I'm gonna like it. But. Um, not to mention that I still do have a pile of this like stuff over there. Like, ooh, this thing, Principe. That I really like. That that's like the second thing that I second batch 
that I've had. So, yeah. So we got my laundry done, and this is going to like the lavandalia, which is a basically a laundromat, and they do it for you. They even like fold it, and like it was in that bag first, the IKEA bag, but now I put it in another bag. They're so nice. So remember when I said I had things laundered? This this was one of them, and. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm so...